You know, I think the last time I was this angry was... Uh... So Sebastian said he had an interesting comment I want to reply to. In this episode, both Mabel's and Dipper's fundamental flaws come full circle and lead to catastrophe. Though most people only know it's Mabel's because it's more blatant. From the very first episode, Mabel has been acting more like a hyperactive six-year-old than her real age. And conversely, Dipper has very strenuously tried to be taken as an adult. I think that's a very fair point. It's an excellent observation. Neither of these attitudes is truly healthy. And the thing that is too often overlooked is the fact that becoming Ford's apprentice would not be good for Dipper. He thinks it's a great opportunity because it promises him exactly what he wants, skipping childhood and teenagerdom to go straight into adulthood. But in reality, this would only result in stunting his development and he would end up an antisocial recluse, incapable of properly relating to others, and probably emulating Ford's paranoid and pathologically secretive habits as well. Fact is, Dipper shouldn't stay and become Ford's apprentice, not because of Mabel's selfish desire to have him around as her emotional crutch, but because it would be just as bad for him as Mabel's refusal to grow up is bad for her. That's a very interesting observation. I don't agree with it because it presupposes that Dipper is so weak and malleable that he will be, his, his psychology, his personality will be completely performed by Ford. You know, uh, House, one of the biggest thematic consistencies of, of the TV show House, ran for eight seasons. A bunch of fellows went through. Probably around 10 total, I think. And all the fe each fellow had to grapple with the idea that if you spend a couple years learning from House, you'll become House. And that's, you know, Sebastian seems to be at that point of view. Anybody who works for House will become House. Well, there's at least one character who didn't. I'm not going to go into detail for spoilers, but one character turned their back on, on House, took what he taught, and was able to apply that forward as far as we saw, but turned their back on House as far as like becoming House. And I thought that was a very interesting development. In fact, I think there's two now that I think about it. There's a second one, a more long-term person, who did the same thing. And I think the only reason Moore didn't do it is that turning your back on House and not becoming House means you have to leave the show. And they didn't want people to leave the show. So, you know, like they want to keep these actors, they want to keep these popular characters. So I think it was it was it was a necessity of the way TV works. You can only follow so many people, you can only follow so many environments, that kind of situation. But back to the point, I don't think Dipper would have just I think he would have soaked in the knowledge, but he wouldn't have become Ford. He's a very strong personality. I don't know. Some some part of me just resists this. I just there's no way to know. We don't know unless it's told in these last two episodes, like specifically stated out loud, which I don't think Sebastian would have said this if it was. Then it's all just speculation, headcanon, fan wank, all that stuff. But I just don't think the Dipper we've seen over forty episodes is so weak that he would fall prey to what's being described here. So I don't know. I, I just thought this was a very interesting comment, and I thought it was a great way to... I'm going to watch the final episodes now. And this is a great way to kick it off. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And I, I'd love to hear what you think about this topic. <laughs> hey, Mr. Pines, it's really you! I've been yep. hugging strangers to practice for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. So, what's everyone doing hey, here? Hey, he's building a revolution. Yeah, monsters and... Oh, I like those, uh... Specific about wearing putt -putt creatures were there. Head in a sack, I still look better than you. It's yep, she's still horrible. Larry King's disembodied wax head wants num-nums. Yeah, <laughs> a very Futurama of you. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's happening again! My bad! <laughs> Invasive maneuver! I like his various creatures they've encountered that were... If not benign, they were at least, you know, reasonable. Have all taken part in the uh, revolution. Yeah, <laughs> F Bill. I was wondering if it was going to still be discordant. Somebody's telling me, like, they, they, those pictures uh, normally during the credits have all been showing all the monsters that were coming up. I never noticed. Home base. <laughs> Uh, we even got some Ow. unicorns. We have 
several injuries. <laughs> Those guys did go into the woods, didn't they? I am now humble, McSkirmish. <laughs> oh, man, minus 50 to spare. I listened to a lot of AM radio, so I knew what this meant. The yes, end of the world. <laughs> what I didn't expect was what happened next. I wouldn't expect that either. Turns oh, he's got a shield. My brother plays invincible to weirdness. <laughs> Excellent. The unicorn spell. That's why this is the only place Bill's magic can't touch. Man, that's great. Awesome breath over here shows up, leading a bunch of injured stragglers through the forest. They needed a place to stay. I'm not surprised he's possums. Stay in here and eat brown meat until we run out. Then I vote we eat the gnomes. Hey. Yeah, excellent. Deaf. Shh, shh. Yeah, Stress will sure make it chewy. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> he's an a-hole. And Ford tried to do it, but he got captured by Bill. Yeah, so it's so better than Ford. But going up against an all-powerful space demon was his worst one yet. Interdimensional demon, I think. Prince, but at least the monsters inside know how to massage. Hey. Atsu. Yes, I've taken some classes. Yeah. <laughs> You'll win? Look, yeah, you know, sure, why we not? got a good deal here. Besides, I'm sure wherever the rest of the townsfolk are, they're fine. Um, no. That's reporting live from the inside of Bill's castle. Here for the first time. <laughs> What's happened to the captain? Man, they townsfolk. shaved her. Viewers are advised to look away. Friends turned into a twisted throat. That's all right. Agony. Excellent. Mom and being turned into stone. By yeah. <laughs> That's a really dedicated reporter. You got to admire the hustle. Oh, no. My parents are bad. But even they... Yes, they are bad. They don't deserve to be saved. Screw them. Why must you take everything we love? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you've taken our ability to not see you shirtless. Mabel is right. Bill wants us to run and hide. He wants us to think he... Sounds good to me. It's not like we could take the mystery shack to Bill. Say. Whoa. Sorry, sorry. Got a little excited. <laughs> He's quite mad, you know. What is this place? It's a trick. Meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where. Yeah, apparently right now. <laughs> Again, some sunny He's really day. in this for the show tunes. Have a drink. Make yourself comfortable. You know that cow- He drinks from his eye? That is disgusting. And now that that dumb baby's out of the way, time itself. But I wasn't always. You think Let's get some backstory. chains are tight? Imagine living in dimension. Flat minds in a flat world with flat dreams. <laughs> He's better about that. Incredible. Gravity falls. Natural law of weirdness magnetism. I really? Years ago. Excellent. And did you find a way to undo it? Of course. It's not. Simply... Finally, your dimension will be free. Yeah, that's not the way to sell it. <laughs> Looks good so far. Make a fun world. A yeah. party that never <laughs> ends with a host that never dies. I don't know. You took a big bite of the world. I don't like that. You be one of us. All powerful. Greater than any. Look at him. He's evil as hell. Your mind. Yep. I've so been here fast. before. You know the rules, Bill. But you can't enter my mind unless I shake your hand and let you in. Yeah. <sighs> Everyone has a weakness, tough guy. I'll make you talk. If Once he captures the others, you'll talk. <laughs> well, we know what the stakes are now. I've made some thingamadiculous robo-majigs in my day. It is thingamadiculous. Question. Doesn't have any gun swords. Yeah. I watch a lot of anime and <laughs> trust me. You're gonna want some gun sword. Yeah, I'm with him on this. Anime. We have much to discuss. Discuss nothing. This was me a year ago.